Hey, praise the Lord. Greetings, everybody. My name is Clinton. To those of you who are in Christ Jesus, I'm Brother Clinton, and this is the Word Prophet Channel, a Christian ministry dedicated to the purpose of teaching the Word of God to the people in the churches of God so that we can go back to serving God in spirit and in truth, as our Lord Jesus Christ commanded. Praise the Lord. I want to talk to you about something very briefly here, but I'm going to leave a link to a longer, more detailed video in the description box below. And the question that is asked in the title of this video is that which I want to address in the video, and that is, what is the deity of Christ? The deity of Christ. The deity of Christ is a theological term that's not found in the scripture, but it is something that is brought up to us as Christians very much. And over the years, as you all know, for those of you who know me, I've been preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ here on YouTube since 2008, actually. I had to redo the channel in 2012, but I've been on YouTube since 2008 and been preaching the gospel for all these years. And it has come to pass many times, that as, as it has come to pass with you, my brethren, that as we as Christians preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and we make known to Trinitarians that we as Christians deny the doctrine of the Trinity because it's not a Christian doctrine, they will accuse us of denying the deity of Christ. Because when we tell them what the Bible says, that there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time, they will say, when we speak as the oracles of God, that we are denying the deity of Christ. Why do they say that? Well, the reason they say that is because they have been taught, just like we all were, I was taught this all my life as well, we were taught that God is a trinity of persons. That's what Rome has taught us, because we've grown up in a Roman society under the Roman religion all of our lives. Whether we professed to be religious people or not, whether we professed to be Catholics or Protestants or whatever, we were all raised up in Roman society and we were all taught from our youth, as soon as we were old enough to learn a language, that God is supposedly a trinity of persons. And there's these three persons in the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And they're each uh, distinct one from another, but they're each equally God. Um, I don't think there's anybody watching this video who hasn't heard that story before. It's a very popular story that is of this world, and it comes from Babylon, and it's something that we were all taught from our youth. And so there are many people, many, many, many people who have just been taught this, and they just, just go around thinking it without really having the desire to argue with anybody about it or to try to teach it. But among that group, there is a, 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 there is a group of people, religious people, who are so adamant about the Babylonian Trinity doctrine that they feel inclined to teach these things to other people and to argue with Christians about the Trinity doctrine and to revile us and call us of the devil because we refuse to speak things that are not written in the scripture. We refuse to believe a doctrine that isn't the doctrine of Christ. And so for that reason, they say that we are denying the deity of Christ. And what they mean by that is that they believe that there are three gods, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And I know that they don't say they believe in three gods, but they do because they say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all distinct one from another and all equally God. Well, that's three gods. okay? And anybody who would deny that is just not paying attention or they're just lying on purpose, which I don't really think is the case. I think the case is that they're not paying attention. They don't have ears to hear. They're not listening to what they're saying because God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit if they're all distinct one from another, but yet they're all equally God, then that's three gods. Okay, So they believe that there's this God called God the Son. And they believe that this God called God the Son is also the Word with a capital W. And the Bible doesn't say anything like that. But they imagine that because that's what they've been taught all their lives. And so they believe that when we quote the scripture, when we speak the words of God and we say unto them that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is a man and that he's not a God, they think that we are denying the deity of Christ. Well, we're not denying the deity of Christ because the Bible says that God was in Christ and that God was manifest in the flesh and that in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. You see, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, isn't in the Godhead. The Godhead is in him. That's what the Bible says. The Godhead is in him. In him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And the word Godhead is an English term that refers to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he is the Godhead. That's what the word Godhead means. It's a singular noun that means the deity. And it refers to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. That's what it means. It, the word Godhead isn't a plural word, and it doesn't refer to a plurality of anything. So the, the reason that Trinitarians will accuse us Christians of denying the deity of Christ is because they believe when they say Jesus Christ, you see, they're not talking about the same person that we are. They're, when they say Jesus Christ, they believe in a God that is supposedly co-equal, co-eternal, and co-existent with God the Father, pardon me, with God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as Christians, we must necessarily confess, according to the scripture, that there is no one who is co-equal, co-existent, and co-eternal with God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he said, God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, said, Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. So, if God says that he doesn't know of any other God, then there isn't one. Okay, There are lots of things in the world that are called gods, but there is only one God who is the true and living God. And Jesus Christ our Lord, when he was praying to God, said that the God that he was praying to is the only true God. And the God that he was praying to, who is the only true God, is in him. You see, that's why Jesus Christ is my Lord and my God. You see, I do, as a Christian, I do not in any wise deny the deity of Christ. But what I do deny is the Babylonian heresy of the Trinity, which proclaims that there are three gods, and that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is actually a God called God the Son who was supposedly with the Father from eternity past and somehow begotten in eternity past, eternally begotten, which is an oxymoron, and it makes absolutely no sense because it's a lie. Nobody can be eternally begotten. You're either eternal or you were begotten. One who is eternal was never begotten and cannot have ever been begotten. If someone is eternal, then there's no possible way that he could have been begotten by anybody. You see, and there is only one who is eternal, and that is God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he is in his son, Jesus Christ, who is that prophet whom he said unto Moses that he was going to send into the world to proclaim his words to the world. You see, so the deity of Christ, if I may use a, a, a theological term, the deity of Christ is his father. That's the deity of Christ. See, the only true God is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The deity of Christ is his Father. If you'd like to learn more about this according to the scripture, there is a link below to a video on this channel that goes on for about 45 minutes, and it will show you from the scripture exactly what the deity of Christ is according to the Bible and not according to the Roman religion. So may these things be a blessing to you. If you have earnest questions, the comment form is open for you. Also, my email address is right there below in the information box. And you're welcome to write me an email. If you have earnest questions, I'm here to help you. And I say earnest because if you have foolish questions or sarcastic questions, with all due respect, I don't have time for that. I can't take time for such things. But if you have earnest questions and you desire to learn the truth of the scripture, if there's something that I've said that you don't understand, even if you think I'm wrong, I welcome you to ask me why I say what I say, and I'll be happy to show you from the scripture. I'm not here to argue. I'm not here to contend. I'm not here to debate because my Father's word is not up for debate. But if I may be of service to you in the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord, then I'm here to help you. We are uh, commanded by the word of God to believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ. And I submit to you that if you believe that God is a trinity of persons, then you can't believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, because you don't know what that name means, and you don't know who the son of God is. If you believe in a trinity, you don't know who the son of God is. You're denying the only true God and our Lord Jesus Christ, because you're proclaiming another God that doesn't exist. And that God that doesn't exist that you're proclaiming is God the Son, the second person of the Trinity, co-equal, co-eternal, and co-existent with the Father. Supposedly, he is the Word who was with his Father from the beginning. All that is complete heresy. It's complete nonsense. It's not written in the Scripture anywhere. It's theology. That's what it is. And theology is witchcraft. 
So I'm here to help you if you desire to learn of our Lord Jesus Christ and grow in his grace. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.